Hello Virgo, I hope everything is good with you. Welcome to my channel, Pisces Spirit Moon. And if you're a returning soul, welcome back. Okay, Virgo. Virgo, this will be a general reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So if you have Virgo in any of those placements in your chart, this should just about be the reading for you. If it doesn't resonate, um, it means that the reading wasn't exactly for you. It might be for another one, for another Virgo. Okay. And uh, that's why you always have to keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they're general okay maybe another reading that i'll do in the near future for you will be the one that you have to hear okay uh, like i said my readings are timeless and they're general so please don't uh don't try to force or fit anything okay don't don't go manifesting things that are not meant for you uh especially just because you saw them on youtube okay uh just take what resonates and leave the rest behind and by the time this video will be published uh, it will be on a full moon in gemini and that's pretty much the energy that I focus on a little bit. But it doesn't mean that you have to watch this video precisely on the day of that full moon or that whatever I pick up on is going to happen exactly at the moment of that full moon, okay? No, I'm a strong believer that you come across these messages when you have to see them, okay? It could be 10 years down the road. It could be some other time, okay? And uh, it's always good to check your... Uh, chart check what placements what well what signs you have in other placements because if this reading doesn't uh, resonate for you maybe another zodiac sign that I do depending on your zodiac on your placements might make more sense okay it all depends on your current situation okay Virgo and Virgo as usual thank you for your likes comments subscribing to my channel and your kind donations I truly appreciate your support and if you haven't yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and uh, click the like button, especially if you like this reading or if it resonates. And please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, that, that also helps me, helps my channel and gives support for my channel. And uh, I always like to hear feedback from my viewers. Okay. All right, Virgo. Uh, last, for, uh, last but not least, if you would like to book a personal reading with me or if you would like to make a kind donation and support my channel support what i do all the info is in the description box down below this reading i mean this video and uh, keep in mind that's the only way that you can reach out to me and i do not reach out offering my services to anyone so please be mindful please be careful of any scams okay okay let's see give me a minute the trouble here channeling your energy and gra holding the cards properly okay one more group. one more yes good that's what we want very well Okay, Virgo, the heart of the matter or what this reading is about or the current situation or energy is the Queen of Wands, okay? So that's, that's you very confident, sitting calm and letting things happen for you, letting things come to you, okay? And uh, you're embodying this energy where you are accepting the mystery and letting the magic happen, okay? Because we have a little black cat, so that's very related to magic, okay? Some of you could be doing your magic somehow, okay? As long as it's uh, for the highest good, it, it will be always good for you, okay? I'm going to lay out the whole spread with a brief uh, energy, and then I'm going to clarify with another deck or strengthen to go more in depth okay virgo uh the energy that's crossing you and it's challenging you is the queen of pentacles okay so right off the bat i got an energy of you i think you're feeling a little lonely here okay through this process or situation in your life okay it's uh you're staring at this pentacle 
It's very abundant energy, but somehow... Oh, I got this feeling of you, that you know that this is your path, and it's a path that you have to do on your own. It's not so much as you're lonely in, the, in this 3D world, maybe for some of you, you are, okay? But you're trusting the divine. There's a lot of solar plexus energy here with the yellow. And uh, this mostly Capricorn energy, but this can be your energy also. It's 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 Earth energy. Okay, it's that's very good. More than anything, but it's like I said, it can be Capricorn or Taurus. Okay, but no, I I know it's you. It's you, and uh, you know this is your path, and it's to be walked on your own. Okay, Virgo. Virgo, the energy that's crowning you in your conscious mind and what you do see clearly is the double card, okay? That's strong Capricorn energy. And yes, it's it's definitely you know you know you have to to walk this path on your own. You have to defeat something here. You have to break the chains, break free, okay? And for some of you, you are addressing the shadow aspects of yourself you're facing your dark side if not you're facing something toxic or you know that you have to okay you have to you have to break the chains from it. you have to you have to set yourself free from this energy okay some of you might be dealing with a capricorn some of you could have some capricorn in your charts okay don't don't get too much into the science okay it's just the energy but you know you 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 have to you have to address this energy. Okay? Because that's very clear in your conscious mind. Virgo, the energy in your subconscious, what you don't see clearly, and maybe you should, this is below you. This is the five of wands, okay? So there's a lot of conflict here. Okay. So there's something in your conscious mind that is uh, not letting you probably focus properly. Or maybe you're ignoring the drama. Maybe you're not really addressing it or conflict that's surrounding you. Maybe you're not wanting to accept it, okay? This could be people not getting on the same page, you know. Remember that I only read the energy. You have to apply it the best way to your current situation, okay? So this could be in a relationship, in an environment, job, family, wherever, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, Virgo. Virgo, the energy that's behind you could be your recent past and it's pushing you through this energy. It's the sun card. That's a Leo energy. And... I think you are seeking some type of happiness and, and to have a clarity, more clarity in this situation, okay? Now we have, this is also Leo energy, okay? So the, they're very correlated. Fire energy, it's a lot of passion here, a lot of confidence too, okay? But there's a sense of wanting a new beginning, I believe. Okay? And wanting happiness. Leo, the energy that's in front of you where you're headed to or is coming towards you, it can be your near future, is the Queen of Cups, okay? That's some um, healing, some uh, understanding, your true self value, okay? This is a strong water energy, okay? Cancer by his Scorpio, okay? I get some healing here. And you understanding that you have to also protect your emotions somehow, okay? There's someone also who does not let anyone pour or take from their cup anymore, okay? Because her cup is the only one that has the lid on it, and she knows she has the most beautiful cup. Okay, so, so I get a sense of, of, of protecting your emotions here, okay, and some healing. 
emotional balancing. Virgo, the energy that is representing you is how you see yourself or how you're responding to the situation. It's the six of swords, okay? So I get a sense of you moving to calmer waters, okay? I think it's more mostly right now in your thoughts because it's air energy. It's, it's swords, that's mind, okay? This is strange because I'm getting, I'm picking up a lot of this energies lately of moving on, moving away from, from to calmer waters, from things that are not clear, that are not for our highest good, where there's some conflict, okay? Some of you might want to address some internal conflicts also, okay? To be able to heal. But yes, this is a sense of, of wanting to move, okay? You, you, you want to move out of the situation to calmer waters. The energy that is surrounding you and it's probably influencing you is the temperance card, okay? This is strong Sagittarius energy and uh, this is also healing, balancing things, okay? Trusting, okay? Trusting the divine, trusting the process, okay? There's a lot of, of, of patience also required here. Emotional balance, I get that a lot. Okay, but there's a lot of trust here. Leo, the energy in your hopes and fears is the four of wands. This is wanting stability and balance in the home. Is When I say home, this can be within you, okay? But it can also be balancing things around you, okay? This is my 11-11 card, okay? There's a lot of confidence here, a lot of yellow, okay? It's balancing things, making things more harmonious around you, within you and around you. There can't be harmony around you if there's if there's no harmony within you, okay? So you're, you're hoping for this harmony, okay? Virgo... The energy that is in your outcome or advice, which I usually take more as advice, is the Knight of Pentacles, okay? So they want you to stop for a minute and just study the horizon. That's why we have the Temperance card, the Patience. Be patient where you want to head off to now with a new beginning, where you want to plant this new pentacle, this new seed, okay? Uh, if you feel that things are stagnated for you, uh, don't 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 worry too much about that. Okay, there's a reason for this. Just trust the process. Be confident. Okay, and trust yourself, so that you can make better decisions where you are headed off to, to a new beginning. Okay. So that's pretty much what we have here. Virgo, bottom of the deck, we have the Justice card. This is Libra energy. Okay, and. Uh, the Justice card is things being balanced to you, for you, okay? There's divine support. We have the two columns, okay? That's support. You don't gonna let anything fall on you and things will be balanced and there will be clarity. There's the sort of truth, okay? Just remain true and loyal to yourself and to the process and trust, okay? You will have victory, okay? There might be a tower moment, okay? Don't fear it. Trust the process like I said, okay? Okay, Virgo, let's clarify and go more in depth now with another deck and we'll see what we have. This message is very please. Yes, Virgo, I have a lot of these uh, moving on energies, a lot of purging. And it can be any situation, okay? Like I said, I only pick up the energy, you have to apply it the best way to your situation. But it's a lot of purging. Okay, good.
Virgo, the heart of the matter, we have the Queen of Wands, okay? So sitting pretty, but trusting the divine, doing your magic, letting things flow, okay? Accepting things for what they are, somehow. Very passionate, very creative. It's very decisive, but not very forward act action here, I see, okay? It's just being decisive. You just accept them. Okay, and it's been clarified by the wheel of fortune. So you're accepting that this change in your life. Okay, you know that things are going to change for the better here for you. Okay, this is the divine turning things in your favor. Okay, and you're being guided to a big change in your life here. Okay, don't let the don't let this energy creep up on you and try to confuse you. You know that. You know you have to break some chains here. The energy that's crossing you and it's probably challenging is the Queen of Pentacles. It's feeling alone. Okay? You're staring down at that pentacle. And I think you have to drop something here. Something that you're holding on. But not too tight. I, I think you're ready to release it. You're ready to release that coin and just watch it roll away okay this is clarified by the three of wands so this is yes it's something about it's it's with the divine timing it's letting your ships come in it's it's that energy flow just letting things come to you as they progress okay it's waiting patiently for something to happen okay it's that trust you're trusting you're trusting the the, the 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 situation okay you're being passionate about because there's wants here it's this that's passion energy virgo the energy that's crowning is the devil okay so you know you have to cut free from this energy now you have to release yourself from it it's been crowned uh, it's been uh, clarified or reinforced by the five of swords okay so you know you have to drop your swords and walk away from it okay don't fight it violence isn't required here i believe it's just just walk away from it don't feed it okay when you do this if you're dealing with a person well it can be a situation you can be with many people okay if you just walk away i think you'll shock the hell out of them by by taking that action because maybe they're expecting you to to respond probably even with violence okay that's why we have this in the subconscious don't don't do it that way okay the best way is to just drop your swords and walk away sometimes we have victory by doing that because we can't even shock people by taking that action people always want some people can be very manipulative and they'll try to test us you know and they'll try to make us lose our temper and once we get angry then they find that as an excuse to put our the blame on us you know it's like oh well you're the one who's getting all violent and angry you know no don't do that just walk away drop your swords and walk away that's the best way to have victory sometimes no actually most of the times what you don't see below you in your subconscious mind is this energy okay that's conflict and i think you have to ignore this that's what they're trying to tell you don't feed this energy okay it's been clarified by the hierophant by strong taurus energy so yes as you're being guided through this you're being protected and the best way to protect yourself is by not responding to that energy just cut free but by walking away that's why we have the queen of cups in front of you because there will be some healing and some emotional balance okay so you're being guided the divine is supporting you okay the divine is with you through this virgo virgo now we have the sun behind you 
It's the, the, the feeling of wanting this clarity and, and, and joy and, and a new birth, a new beginning in your life, okay? This is what's, what's pushing you through this. It's been clarified by the Two of Pentacles, okay? It's just a sense of staying grounded, okay? It's a balancing act, okay? You want to cut yourself free from this repetitive infinite loop. This repetitive cycle. And they want you to be joyful. Okay? They're asking you, be happy while you're going through this process in your life. Okay? The man is, is dancing. And uh, keep balanced. Okay? Stay balanced. And stay focused. Very, very focused. Okay? Watch your steps. Okay? Virgo? Virgo? The energy in front of you where you're headed to or is coming towards you. It could be your near features, the Queen of Cups. It's that emotional healing, emotional balancing, and knowing your worth, knowing who you really are, what you have to offer. But you're not going to let anything or anyone anymore take from that cup or pour into it. You, you're going to be more mindful now of, of the energies that surround you. You're going to be protecting yourself more. Because you are this pre-empress energy, okay? Just trust, trust the path, okay? Trust your intuition. You have to take the hood off of the hawk. And let it see. Because the hawk is a spiritual guide. It's a spiritual animal. That's your intuition. Let the hawk see clearly so that it can fly and, 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 and bring you more messages. Trust your dreams. Trust your intuition. Okay? There might be signs that you have to, to see more clearly. Okay? That's where you're being guided. Any synchronicities, anything like that, start paying attention to them. Okay? Virgo, this is how you're responding. You're moving off. You you want this. You want you want to move to calmer waters. Okay. There's a lot of knowledge gained in this in this situation. Okay. A lot of mental clarity. But you're tired. You're, you're you're tired. Okay. And this has been clarified or reinforced by the King of Swords. Is that quick? Yes. Just take action. Just move forward. Address the situation and, and do it. Be fearless, okay? Because you stay facing forward. Just take that action. It's this strong air sign or air energy, okay? Which is uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, okay? Cut out what does not serve you anymore, okay? So just cut it out. Just walk away. Take, take that action to do it. Remain balanced okay this is the energy that's surrounding it's it's all with balance harmony and focus on yourself focus on your own healing and just trust trust the divine trust the path trust the situation because it's been clarified by the high priestess which is a beautiful energy okay that's two major arcanas right there and it's you stepping up into a more this is a more spiritual energy. It's just you're you're you're, you're putting your trust, and uh, you're conquering your fears and doubts. Okay, you're 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 learning. It's it's a new path for you. Very balanced. Okay, and you're also supported here because she has the columns. And nothing's going to fall on you, just like the Hierophant, because they're both There's two columns right there, okay? Something about your divine masculine and feminine energies are being balanced here. That's why we also have this harmony in your hopes, okay? Yes, but you have to get rid of this energies, okay? Don't, uh... Don't step on your own cape. That's your emotions, okay? Don't step on Don't ignore your emotions, okay? Address your emotions properly so that there can be this healing with the Queen of Cups, okay? That way you're, that way you're going to be stepping up into this beautiful pre-empress energy, and then you're going to 
Wow, it's beautiful. And uh, whatever external energy that's around you who is like this, this is not someone who is stable, okay? There's a lot of manipulation here. That's, I believe this, just walk away from it. That's how you're going to achieve this, uh, this harmony within you, okay? Virgo, this can be a Pisces, Cancer Scorpio energy, not necessarily, but they could also be embodying this energy. But uh, yes, don't 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 ignore your emotions. Don't step on. Be vulnerable, okay? And be true and loyal to yourself. Just cast the sword of truth, okay? If you keep stepping on your emotions, you're not being true and loyal to yourself and to the situation. Whatever you have to address and walk away from, you just have to do, okay? You see? That's the outcome of the virus. Just keep moving on, but uh, remain, remain calm, okay? Be confident. Plan ahead what you want to do, yeah, but don't stay stagnated. Don't let anything come back and try to lure you back into something that is not for your highest good, okay? But there's some planning that has to be done where you want to go with that pentacle, okay? It's the same pentacle that the queen is holding. A little lonely. It's a lonely path. You know it. Very spiritual, but uh, it's part of your path, Virgo. Virgo, bottom of the deck. Page of Pentacles, okay? So, it's a new beginning, okay? Like I said, from the page, you're going to go into the night. It's, it's, don't feel that you have to start from zero again, okay? Don't be afraid of, of starting fresh. There's a reason for everything, okay? You're going to walk this path at the beginning. It's, it's gonna be a long walk, okay? But it's part of your process. I think you know it, Virgo, by the energies that I see here. And uh, just trust that you are being guided through this, okay? Virgo, now I'm going to ask for additional messages from the Demon Tarot. I use it as an oracle messages, okay? And uh, these can be additional, okay? They don't have to be... Uh, directly connected to the reading but there can be additional energies that you can focus on while you are going through this process of, of your life okay so just take them as to resonate as they resonate okay and some of them can be for you and some cannot okay please help me deliver the best messages to virgo so I had, uh, they can go through this path uh, through life and uh, not too many, just the ones that fall on the table. Thank you. Best advice for Virgo, please. Thank you. Just the ones that fall on the table. Thank you. this one mom one okay guess that's it Virgo okay Virgo I got uh, four of them I believe yes okay I'm gonna put them on this is where my OCD comes in and I have to put them on alphabetical order okay Okay, Virgo, first of all, we have Flaga, okay? Flaga is a Scandinavian fairy, or possibly a very powerful sorceress whose domain is the air. She has an eagle for a steed, okay? And the advice or divination that Flaga tells us is that We should focus on clearing away debris 
or debris, physical or mental obstructions. Okay, so that's definitely clearing this obstruction, which would, that's what it would be. Okay, it could be mental. Okay, and uh, just take it as a resonance. Okay, but it's not good. It's not for your highest good. Okay, and you know it. But focus on how to focus more than anything to just cut it out of your life. Just take that action. Okay, and move on to to something better, to calmer waters. Okay, very good. Now we have Lucifer. And Lucifer is a fallen angel whose name is also that of the morning star, the planet Venus, which is also known as the bringer of dawn. He is a king of hell who appears as a beautiful child. And Lucifer tells us that we should focus on finding sympathy and understanding for those with whom there is no agreement even enemies okay that's that conflict if you're having conflict with someone you know just you know accept why the situation happens or why certain people respond a certain way but just drop your swords and move on okay that's all that's that's crystal clear now we have mammon Okay, Mammon is a personification of greed, and he allegedly or allegedly taught mankind how to strip mine the mountains for gold and other treasures. His name comes from an Aramaic word for material wealth. Okay, well, maybe some of you are dealing with some material or financial things, energies. Okay. Beware of avarice, focus on gaining needs and comforts, avoid not being able to appreciate what we have in constant pursuit of more. Okay, so it could be for some of you. Okay, take it as it resonates. Maybe some of you are dealing with something that's financial and uh, it's probably affecting your conscious mind and your subconscious by creating uh, some conflict. Com Conflict within you, okay? That's why maybe you have to balance yourself in the mind. And she's holding that pentacle, you know, to take that pen to take that hood off from the hawk. She's got to let that hand off of that pentacle. So some of you might be holding on somehow too much to to your finances. Okay, take it as it resonates. Okay, I do my best with the energy. And last we have. Dongarsuk, okay? Dongarsuk is an Inuit god who watches over the fishermen of Greenland. He may appear as a bear or a one-armed man, and he speaks with familiar spirits of the village shamans, okay? I don't know why he would be a demon. It sounds like a friendly lad. <laughs> Sometimes some demons are just fallen angels that had to be placed back into the into the into hell for certain specific reasons. It doesn't mean that they're all always evil, you know. But some some of them cannot be in the in the heavens for specific reasons. Okay, and Dongar Suk tells us that we should focus on strength and positive thinking, even when in poor health, okay? That's pretty much that uh, queen of pentacle energy, okay? It's uh, focusing on strength, confidence, okay? Even though you feel lonely, maybe not at your best, okay? Because it is, it is a lonely and sad energy, okay? She's just looking down at that pentacle, you know? But uh, do focus and at feeling at your best okay that's why and we have the sun behind that's the happiness okay so staying happy staying balanced okay because this whole situation could be just very deep within you okay you're trying to improve something with with yourself but uh that devil energy creeps up on you and, and affects affects your stability okay but uh there is the wheel of fortune okay be confident. Trust the trust the magic. Okay. Trust yourself. 
Virgo, I hope the reading helps you. I'm going to leave it there for you, okay? If it, it does resonate, then it does give you the guidance that you need. Please go ahead and click the like button and, uh, and uh, leave me a comment, please. Let me know what you think about it. I always like to hear from my, from my viewers. And uh, please uh, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And uh, Virgo, well, uh, I wish you all the best, all the strength, okay, through this. And uh, I hope to see you next time. And uh, as usual, Virgo, please stay safe, okay? Stay happy. Be happy. Focus on your happiness, okay? And stay very, very blessed. Goodbye, Virgo.